These were issues that the previous generations never had to deal with. What is going on world? I am the Hungarian experiment and in this video I'm going to explain why millennials are actually stupid. Yes, this is actually passed down from the previous generations. Millennials have a hindrance. They are mentally held back and in this video I'm going to explain why with this one scientific study. So let's just dive right into this. So the other day I was doing some research on a previous experiment that I was doing and I stumbled upon this unique scientific study and I wanted to take you guys through it because I believe it shows how over time, over generations, if we are not optimizing ourselves as human beings, that this can actually get passed down. I truly believe that here in North America we are experiencing something called generational degradation. We are degrading ourselves and that is getting passed down through the generations. Now I believe we have a chance to save this, we have a chance to optimize ourselves, but there's a scientific study that actually shows this that I stumbled upon, so let's dive into it here. Behavioral, stereological, and whole genome sequence analysis reveal that paternal cognition improvement is inherited by the offspring along with increased adult neurogenesis, greater mitochondrial citrate synthase activity, and modulation of the adult hippocampal gene expression profile. So that might be a little confusing, but they go further on here in this study to say, these results demonstrate the inheritance of exercise-induced cognitive enhancement. Paternal physical activity has a direct factor driving offspring's brain physiology and cognitive behavior. So the results from this study displays that the physical activity of parents have a direct effect on the brain physiology and cognitive behavior of the offspring in mice. If these results are similar in human beings, then that means the physical activity that we do as humans directly affects the mental aptitude of our kin. Now, as I've mentioned here on my YouTube channel in the past, I heavily question how the sedentary North American lifestyle, along with many other factors that come along with the lifestyle, such as poor nutrition and diet, uh, lack of traditional values, etc., may be negatively affecting the following generations, both hormonally and mentally. Now, I find my journey in life unique because my mom came to Canada from Hungary when she was pregnant with me. For generations, my family had extremely traditional values which were passed down onto me. But being born here in Canada, I had the opportunity to see many different people's lifestyles, both culturally from other areas in the world, as well as those who had descendants here in North America for generations prior. For example, my stepfather, who married my mother when I was two to three years old and had my sister, he was a third or fourth generation Polak. So I personally got to see how the North American lifestyle and mentality was passed down through the generations on my stepfather's side and how it heavily differentiated from the traditional Hungarian lifestyle and values that were brought with them. Now over time as I began to get older, I watched many of my classmates, colleagues, and co-workers whom I would heavily analyze their different lifestyles, their diets, their physical activity, and any other factors that I could just visibly see while I would question them about their family and when they had come to Canada. I believe we put a lot of weight on mental health and how to combat it here in our society, but I don't believe we are considering how this is passed down through the generations as a result of a drastic change from traditional lifestyles that we have for centuries upon centuries. And now we are manipulating it to this more modern lifestyle that we have here in North America and in first world countries. I personally believe a lot of the issues we currently see in society are symptoms of generational degradation in regards to hormone optimization due to losing a lot of these traditional cultural values and lifestyles that just naturally and unknowingly optimize our bodies and our minds. If for several generations their descendants adapted and upheld to this typical North American lifestyle, I believe many millennials were literally born with a lower mental and physical state compared to their parents and grandparents before them. And I believe that they will only continue to pass this degradation down onto the following generations unless we make a serious change in society and bring awareness to this. With my personal experimentation on my own body and getting scientific tests 
testing done in regards to growth hormone and brain scans where I proved that you can naturally change and manipulate your hormone levels and rewire the neural pathways in your brain. I believe it is 100% possible to optimize our bodies and our minds and possibly even reverse or prevent the effects that were handed down to us. But I also believe we have to put more effort, we have to put more energy and more mental thought into overall optimization because these were issues that the previous generations never had to deal with. The purpose of this video is because many people I've run into in life believe that they can't make a change to themselves in the issues that they were born with. I've had hundreds of discussions with people online and in person who doubt that they can make a change or that putting that effort in to make that change is redundant due to whatever issues that they were born with. I believe that many of these people almost use it as an excuse to not have to work as hard because of these issues when in reality they need to work even harder. Yes, there's an extremely small percentage of people who are born with real issues that are natural due to birth defects or hormonal issues, but I believe a majority of people that are suffering from a slightly lower mental and physical ability, which is passed down from unoptimized parents and generations before them, I believe they can improve this and change this over time to prevent this from passing down to further generations. So, are millennials actually stupider? I believe so. I believe that for generations, just like my stepfather, him being a fourth generation, passing this mentality, this sedentary lifestyle, this poor nutrition and diet down through the generations isn't benefiting anyone lower down the line. And we as human beings living at this current time, we need to be aware of this more than ever. And we need to learn how to optimize our bodies and our minds so we don't pass this to the next generation. Well, there you have a world. Do I actually think millennials are stupid? Of course not. I believe we all have the ability to optimize ourselves, the ability to optimize our bodies and our brains. And I've proved this on myself. I've proved that I can naturally rewire the neural pathways in my brain and enhance my IQ. But if you think that you can't do this because you were given something at birth, then you have this limiting belief and you will never get there. And over time, you're probably going to make sacrifices to yourself. You're not going to optimize yourself. And you're going to pass that degradation down to the next generation. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you learned something here today or maybe you got value from this video, I'd love if you go hit that like button and on your way down there, go leave me a comment. I want to know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am the Hungarian Experiment. <laughs>